What's up, beautiful people? My name is Louis Ohasmeni with your 360 News blog. Thank you so much for joining me today. Guys, my energy is rejuvenated and I feel very fresh because I had a great weekend. I don't want to lie to you. I was mostly binging alone. Super, super excited. And we'll do snacks and just I think I am, but anyway. <laughs> I had a great time by myself. I caught up on a lot of stuff on TV and that includes my absolute, if not one of my absolute favorite shows, Dinner at Somizis. And listen, I enjoyed his interview with Joop Joop. First of all, it felt very natural. It didn't feel as though it was scripted. It didn't even feel like a TV show. It felt like, no, I'm just chilling there with them and listening to their conversation. Absolutely dope. That was amazing, guys. But I want to know. Oba, I think I'm now. First of all, because you guys were flirting, you were flirting so much. To a point where it was, was like, if you have a novel, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. Hali has every right to think that because when I look at him, I say, I'm Stetan. I'm Stetan. I'm Stetan. I'm Stetan. So it means you crazy, bro. <laughs> also, I wanted to know, but okay, I know so it very close with Kelly Kumalo. So, how did Kelly feel about Somizi interviewing Jup Jup? And I honestly thought I was going to see um, Kelly Kumalo on one of these shows, Eska Somizi. But she wasn't on any of the episodes that I've seen. So, I don't know if there was, this was the last one. However, I want to know, Uba, are you guys still vibing? And if so, how did Kelly feel about you interviewing Jup Jup? But anyway, that was a great show and I enjoyed it so, so, so much. Our 90 degrees today goes to the youngest LGBTQ HIJKL member in the media industry. <laughs> I'm talking about La Cise. So La Cise tweeted that he feels that it's very necessary for young kids to be taught about homosexuality as early as the age of seven. And I fully concur with this idea. I've always felt like this. I just never voiced it because I mean, I just feel like, nah, the sexuality um, is my business. I don't care about people. A at home, I'm very comfortable. That's why I'm so gay. <laughs> at home, I'm very comfortable. And the same thing that I am at home is what I am with my friends. So I have, I have no other, I have no issues around um, homophobia and stuff like that. But I understand that once I step out of my comfort zone and I'm, I'm part of the public, I, I do get a lot of awkward moments with people because some people were never raised the way we were. So Abazuba as understanding as we do. So I, I really, really support um, Nasizio for saying that um, kids must be taught at a very young age that homosexuality exists. Teaching them does not necessarily mean you are encouraging them to be gay. And I don't even understand why people think that you, you can just wake up in the morning and decide to be gay. I, I don't understand. But I know of a genetic disorder called Kleinefelter and then Bolbandi becomes so it's not about something that you know. Man, it's not about because it's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's found on your twenty third chromosome, and you know most about when it's a, when your child is a boy, um, the chromosomes will be X Y, and if it's a child, if your child is a is a girl, then it's gonna be X X. So Tanner Felter is a genetic disorder where you get two X's and a Y. That's why I'm doing it. But I need, I need to say a big, big shout out to you, Lassizer, for doing, for pushing this one. A lot of people attacked him on Twitter. And I'm just like, really old people think that Lassizer is out there to turn their kids. Hi, bo, guys. What do you do? I mean, Masizu Yegen Indo is funny. Masizu Yegen Indo is funny. Masizu Yegen Indo is funny. But anyway, our 180 degrees is taken by... The Kenyan superstar, he is a media personality and he's big that side. I'm talking about Andrew Kibe. So Andrew Kibe mentioned something very awkward. <laughs> it was very awkward, guys. He was at an interview and they asked him, what's the, uh, what's the most common assumption that people have of you? That's, that's really not true. So you know that you miss when you of whatever. So long as I'm but anyway. <laughs> His answer was that people, or most people rather, assume that he has a small penis. I was like, hi hey, guys, first of all, he's Kenyan. Secondly, he's tall, dark, and handsome. So now, you know that black people in the north, the north have, you know, most of them are gifted. Come on, we know this. <laughs> I don't say that. I don't 
Hostel I can't. <laughs> Guys, he went as far as saying he doesn't have to prove a point. Oh bye and But okay, that's that's the, the that's the most common thing that's that's been said about him. But I'm like, is it said because your girlfriends or your exes are the ones spreading this information? Or people are just generally jealous of you. And yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. And yes. But Andrew is, is a, he's a great guy, man. I don't think he's a small one. Uh, it would be such a disappointment, a, a disgrace for a man that big to have a small crotch. Uh, uh. Why well, like, I have no proof point? I'm like, prove it! You can use me. Use me all you want to prove that point. <laughs> And we gave yeah anyway. Our 270 degrees is taken by Sophia. Sophia Richie. If Ungama is Sophia Richie, Gumtaraka Lionel Richie. If you don't know Lionel Richie, then you're probably too young. <laughs> okay, and Guazi, because I mean his most popular song is I Call It Love. Absolutely beautiful. So he has a lot of stuff. A lot of kids, uh, I know Nicole is adopted. And I didn't know that most of his kids are gonna look white, but he's, I mean, he's married to a white lady, so... Uh, genetically, that's a given. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great possibility. So, he has a daughter called Sophia, who dated Scott Disick. And the name is Scott, but he baby dated got Courtney Kardashian. So, I knew this was not gonna last because of the age gap, first of all. Secondly, Oh, Claire, I'm done. Who's this? Courtney. Courtney seems like she doesn't want to be married to Scott because she, she knows deep down that Scott is crazy. However, she also doesn't want Scott to be with somebody else. I just don't understand. I'm like, Puffy Connor, I know. Oh, my. Look, put the item funny from the neck. I cannot tell you to do that. It's absolute jealousy. But anyway, um, she. So Sophia was celebrating her 22nd birthday. I didn't even know she was 22. Guys, Scott is almost 40. But who am I to say stuff about age differences and stuff? But I'm just saying, oh my God. okay, let me put this. Let me put it this way. Girls, if you're gonna do somebody older, just make sure that you still have your control. You have full control of the situation. Because first of all, I know my dollar was a manipulator with you. It's 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 a given. And say as Babona Bamandi. Bamandi Nanjan, but because <clears throat> this person is well experienced, first of all. Secondly, um, they. <laughs> and they're very carefree. You are. Or your opinions don't really matter when, when you are with an old person because they always, they constantly think they're right in every situation. And uh, so, you know? So you don't encounter stuff like uh, what Sophia had encountered with, with uh, Scott. Definitely not cute. It's def absolutely not cute. But anyway, all the best, Sophia. Try dating your age. But I must say, Miles, Miles. I saw Miles. So Sophia was celebrating her 22nd birthday with her friends and her mom and her brother. But Ucho Mizake were mostly Kylie's friends also. So I'm like, why? Guys, we many many in Hollywood. But anyway, I was mostly interested in the brother. Hot, 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 hot. They were like kids, but yeah, I could do the one. But anyway, <laughs> uh, 360 degrees is taken by Pearl Tusi and her opinion on a very sensitive matter. First of all, guys, I don't understand why BET Africa interviewed Todd Esmo about his rape case lay that was the, his rape allegations that were laid by Lerato Muloy. I don't understand why BET Africa never interviewed Lerato because she's the one who actually addressed the matter in public and I don't understand why they wanted to have Todd Esmo alone. I understand his work for, no, but he's only worked for MTV days. I don't know if he's done something with BET Africa, but that was inappropriate. So a lot of people were crying on Twitter saying that how is a rapist um, interviewed on national TV? Ziki Mazwai was one of them saying that um, BET Africa is promoting rapists, which I fully concur. And now Pearl Tusi also voiced out her own opinions and Sana, okay, 
And she went as far as saying she's an activist, but she couldn't answer one stupid question. Not, not stupid, one easy question. Somebody was like, okay, Pearl, imagine you having to watch TV and see the man who raped you on national TV sitting there comfortably talking about <laughs> talking about you as though you are tripping. Yet you're going through such yet you went through that that traumatic experience. So Pearl couldn't even answer that girl. I was like Pearl, now as he's in the talks, you don't sound like an activist, just like you said on, on Twitter. She was like, she's an activist. I'm like, how? You don't sound like one. You sound like a supporter. You sound like me. Saying my opinion about what's happening in KZN. Nala legislature, I won't go on. Nala mama. You sound like me when I... I don't want to but... You don't sound like an activist. If you, if you were an activist, you would have defended women, and I mean... You, we are currently facing, and we try to rebuke the gender-based violence, and, and, and. When I go, you go back again and mention ORK, they were also interviewed on national TV, and third degree. I understand why you mentioned third degree, because, I mean, third degree has gone to prisons, you know, for their interviews, and they wanted to know about a lot of stuff that went down with those guys, which was... Which is not bad, but maybe they had their own reasons for doing that. Did you buy PET Africa? Why did it go straight to Tolles Mo? I didn't understand that. I didn't. And Gazana Pearl, that has proven your your foolishness. Because first of all, you are a woman and you have a child who is you have two daughters. I'd like to believe that you have two daughters. I don't get why. You are not sensitive with your words when addressing such pressing matters. But anyway, that brings us to the end of today, guys. I become so sorry when I have to go over a minute. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can add me on Facebook. I am Loiso Hasmeni. You add, I confirm. Simple as that. And on Twitter, I'm at Loiso underscore R. And on Instagram, I'm at Luiso Hasmeni, also available on IGTV, where you'll be getting more and more and more of these shows. From me to you, it's the biggest love. I love you with my life. Mm.